A public school partnership that aims to increase interest in science among young students is in the city for the first time this year. Mount Sinai's Black Family Stem Cell Institute is hosting BioEyes at schools across East Harlem. CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell shows us how the fish are becoming fast friends. It's Bio Eyes Week at PS 108. Mount Sinai School Program Coordinator Osset Taylor is introducing these sixth graders to genetics using zebrafish. Described as a model organism, zebrafish eggs hatch within a week of breeding. We can see the offspring down here. Allowing students to see the growth cycle from start to finish. So they're like, oh, our grandchildren, they're growing. And they get to see, you know, them change into like, you know, a larval fish that will be swimming around in the petri dish. Bio Eyes didn't just choose zebrafish because they look cool, they actually share 70% of our DNA. Students will track which traits the new fish take on, much like Mount Sinai's own researchers. Some of them are already asking the right questions. Is doing that going to help figure out like, things for the human race? Unlike humans, zebrafish have some special abilities beyond our own. They are able to regenerate if they cut off a fin, they'll make a new one. In another organism, we might learn some traits or maybe learn some techniques that we can use to treat human diseases. The Black Family Stem Cell Institute is interested in finding ways to fight ailments that disproportionately affect the black community, like diabetes and high cholesterol. I thought that they only did like, you know, hospital things like you work on surgeries and everything. I never thought that you guys would be researching things like fish and reproduction. So I thought that was cool. Mount Sinai's goal is to garner interest in the neighborhoods that need health care the most and diversify the next generation of researchers. It will set them up for more success in the future because they had exposure to this and because they had hands on experience with it. It's harder for them to forget. Meeting students at their level of interest allows lessons like this to click. In the future, like maybe I want to guess whether my child would look like me or my husband. Learning science for life. <laughs> in East Harlem, Jesse Mitchell, CBS 2 News. The BioEyes project started in Philadelphia schools 20 years ago. Mount Sinai's Black Family Stem Cell Institute partnered with RTW Charitable Foundation to bring these classes to the city.